We're on. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, the vocal stylings there of Five Horse Johnson. Is that Five what it was called? Johnson, Five Horse yeah. Johnson. Of course, Five Horse Johnson. All familiar with Five Horse Johnson. Um, begging, begging it. Begging for bail. Begging for bail. Begging for bail. The and you can guess well. That's a reference to. Yes, welcome to Pass and Move. This podcast that we do about the football club, um, almost completely unbeknownst to the club itself or anybody else for that matter. So there we are. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, in a week, we learned that the most gifted player of his generation, Paul Gascoigne, was addicted to children's paracetamol infant suspension. Cow Paul. Did you read that today? <laughs> he, um, Gascoigne he was addicted to Cow Paul um, as he was under the misapprehension it would make him drunk. So he would buy, he got banned from every chemist in Newcastle because he was, he was bulk buying Cow Paul because he thought he'd get him pissed. Of course, it doesn't get you pissed. He's not making this up. This is absolutely true. Um, he didn't have a headache for 14 years. No, he didn't, did, yeah. Um, uh, he yeah. teething. Um, I could see where he went, but it went wrong. You need a six-plus range. They do a six-plus range there. Um, that would suit the 45-year-old uh, uh, Spurs and Newcastle wife-beating alcoholic more, more, more than, the, the, than the normal one. Uh, and, of course, paracetamol um, can give you liver and kidney damage. So, God forbid that that could ever happen to Paul Gascoigne, he would inadvertently give himself kidney and liver damage. Um, but fortunately, I have a ha I'll, um, Calpol do a, um, a handy app. I'm not joking, they do an app, Calpol app. So I'll put his details in, including his date of birth. I know yeah, and what does it say about dosage diary? No appropriate products found for Paul's age. No appropriate pro um, products found for Paul's age. So oh, if there'd been technology at the time, he could have saved himself. He could have saved himself. Uh, so remember, always read the label. That's that's the most important thing or you should take away. Yeah, or download the app. Um, so uh, someone who always should read the label and take attention to to that advice uh, is my first guest on the left. Other um, uh, in the extent the, the extent that he should uh, always read the, the small print on his wives <laughs> because uh, he's about to go into his third wife. Thank you very uh, much. Isn't that so? You should have read the uh, the uh, the label on the first two. Is that uh, Wilberforce McCrimm and Moose? There we go. There we go. Oh, remember the label. Um, alongside him, uh, on the other side of him, is a man um, for whom anything post 1950s is stylically, stylistically unacceptable. Although you are wearing. Pattern and pattern. Yeah, but today. I, broke, I broke the fourth wall. You, should know, now, always, you, you need to wear a, a, a simple shirt with a pattern shirt, a simple jack, um, jumper with a pattern shirt, or vice versa. Uh, but you've um, no, made just, a terrible error. Just let me Are you going to talk with this accent all evening? Yeah, this is what no, I talk I like. Is that no. all right? <laughs> Do you talk like a cockney? Is there not an interpreter or something? No. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's all right, but you, could you just slow down a I'll bit? I'll slow down I'm a losing, bit. Okay. I'm losing bits. <laughs> Um, is it northern? Is that <laughs> That's what it's called. Um, it's not, from North with Niger with it. <laughs> <laughs> We are the uh, tw was the twenty first most popular podcast in Niger at one Niger, stage. Yeah, yeah. How about that? You can't talk that. You can say about yourself that uh, your credits in, involve uh, the average sitcoms, Birds of a Feather, Many Splendid Thing, and May to December. Half decent movie, Kinky Boots. Is that the thing? But certainly, no one reckon, will recognise his face as the lead singer of 80s pop combo, Modern Romance, everybody. Oh, hello. Do you remember them? Remember Modern Romance? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one. Excuse me, yeah. excuse me. Aye, 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 aye. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic. Uh, Jeff Dean, everybody. Come on. Oh, thank you. Although you're here the on the... The guy with the blonde hair who played it, I, I used to have the haircut. Did you? Oh, I, yeah. Uh, that was, that the was whole group. Full on Diana. Full the on whole Diana. group had the same haircut. It was like... All of us had 50% vision. It was like mayhem in the dressing room. Was everyone bumping into each other. It's not one for the podcast unless we get to do an extras, but you've got to get Jeff to tell you the John Dupre trumpet for the six story later on as well. Ooh, well I think you've just told it really, haven't you? Yeah. Very largely. So, Jeff's here to talk about the Spurs game. I am. Because he's a Spurs fan, so you're not allowed to talk uh, until we get to that stage. So, So we have not done a podcast for two weeks, is that? Two three weeks, weeks yeah. even? Uh, so we've had two games. Carrying Vic on winning. Victories, <laughs> fucking hell. We've had like back to back to back victories. Three backs. Four. Four. Back. Four. 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 Oh, Zenit. I suppose. Zenit. Yeah, but I wasn't really. We didn't really fucking well, win that. We, we did win though, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. We, I suppose we did. Oh. Four back to back to back we, to back. Uh, and we are also the uh, from a team that uh, had this addiction to wood. 
last year. We're now the highest scorers in the in the calendar year as well, yeah, by yeah, long, yeah, some yeah, distance yeah. as well. Things may be a turning. Oh, yeah. um, so let's talk about the Wigan game. Wigan game. Uh, essentially, how shit are Wigan? Well, no, because if you, well, the, you'd have said that after we played them, but I think the way that they performed against Everton, right, you yeah. could argue that we put them in a box and they couldn't get out. Yeah, I think we, I think we played them off the park. I will, to, to, to prep some things we'll talk with Jeff about later, we played at Wigan the way Spurs played against us. Mm. We pressed them all over the park. Uh, we closed them down. Suarez scored a fantastic hat trick, and Stuart Downing scored. No, he looks very. Good. I, he looks like he's I think we all defend, need to. Him I think we all need to calm down about Stuart no, Downing. Don't. He's been all right in the last couple of games. All right, let's not get ourselves but, 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 but too. But too... what we've argued before, though, is, is that being all right is actually a high level for players to get at. When we, how bad we've been in recent years. Players who are all right every game. Not when you spend a job. twenty plus million well, pounds on them. Anyway, in so, that game, Ian, we had fifty-eight percent possession against Martinez, who's obviously um, uh, um, rumoured also to be the next Everton manager. That should be a laugh. Um, Where's Moyes going? Uh, oh, Out think. of his mind. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, apparently, no one's quite sure where Mr. Moyes is going yet. Because I think Moyes should go somewhere in Europe, do all right, and then he'll get the United job. Mm -hmm. I reckon. I think um, we had, uh, that's going to happen. We had fifteen shots, eleven on target, and we dominated the game from start to finish. And we also did something Liverpool never do. We scored in the first five minutes right. of a game as well. Although you say that, Rain has pulled off some great saves. Oh, Rain, Rain, Rain was playing before, out of his skin. Before right? Wigan's first goal, before our first goal, Rainer pulled off almost point blank save yeah. from uh, Coney, didn't he? He made yeah. about three, three fantastic yeah. stops. I mean, Rainer had one of those days that we've had people to see at Anfield for the last 18 yeah, yeah. months as well. He was fantastic. He'd be, be great at Arsenal next season. He would be super yeah. brilliant. brilliant for Arsenal next year. Uh, Coutinho, where the fucking hell did they find him? He was, I don't know he was like, him. I know. Like that, that, all over how long did he play him for? Like, it was like that was that was like eight million pounds. Eight and a half million quid. If you're going to spend eight and a half million quid, can we have more eight and a half million quid yeah. buys like that? He was please. great. He was great. Feels, it, it, it sort of feels like what, what was he? Why couldn't he get a game at Inter then? What, what was he doing wrong? wrong? Uh, well, I don't, uh, there's rumours that he, he sort of um, he was the the. The president of the club, uh, I think it's Massimo Marotti, loved him, but the, the, the management and coaching side just didn't think he would cope with it physically. So God knows why they thought he'd settle in England. But I think, as Ian said, from when we watched him live at his, at his Anfield yeah. debut, he watched it for 20 minutes and thought, this is a piece of piss, this, yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. this, this I mean, easy. to be fair, I mean, he, I know, he's not tracking back and making loads of tackles and that, but... But the way he's made a nuisance of himself, though, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, man, he yeah. yeah. gets, he gets yeah, around. Yeah. And I must say, I mean, again... <laughs> You know, deference to our guest here. It's probably the first player we've bought. The Spurs haven't tried to nick from us no, or, or, or beat us to. Nobody first knew he existed. I guess I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but you know, he, he was you, superb on the day. Yeah, he was. I mean, you know, and you, and you can't underestimate the intimidating atmosphere of Wigan. Yeah. This is like you look at that. You look at that game, and it's half. It's still half empty. Liverpool come to Wigan, and it's still half empty. You just think. For fuck's sake, we all know you can feel that if you just let well, Liverpool the, fans in. Well, it's the, the Jasper Carrot Classic, isn't it? I mean, you're the two Wigan fans, yeah. a bloke next to him, a bloke turned to his fan, the closest fan next to him and asked him if he wanted a pint. And he said, what'd you fancy no. at half time? Yeah, but it, but it, is, it is fucking ludicrous that, 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 that they've got that massive old stadium there and it's never been full. Well, it's ever. Dave Whelan is, of course, mad. So that's probably what bankrolls yeah, it. Yeah, well, you well. say he's mad, but he's, he's obviously making a few quid. I mean, and obviously next year, because they're not going to go down, I don't think, that he will make, they will make, you know, with all this new TV deal, they're going to make a fortune, yeah, they aren't will. they? They'll, they'll, um, and good luck to him. <clears throat> I did. I did enjoy when uh, Boyce and MacArthur decided to have a bit of fight over yeah, to yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. I always like that when um, I like it when players fight. Full stop. I, I, I enjoy that. It's, it's, it's not it's, enough it's, of that anymore. There's not. No. I don't think there's enough of fighting over these players. No. But I like it when players Batty of the the, of, the, yeah. of the same team fight. Dyer and Bowyer. Dyer and Bowyer as well. It's fantastic. I like it. Stuff, I like it. it? Yeah. There's some. You know. I. Oh, I yeah, think, was it McManaman and um, Thomas? Wasn't it? And asked for us as well. Was it McManaman and Grobbler? McManaman and Grobbler for Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, it's been I can't remember any of these fights. These Fantastic. are in, into. We're just making up, actually. They weren't, they weren't facts. Um, two players. So there. that was great, and I just thought, you know, like with all these games that we win easily, I kind of think, oh fucking hell, they didn't turn up the opposition, and you know, it just that was a piece of piss. But you know, you've got to say we you can only beat the opposition that's in front well, of you. Well, they weren't the floor with Everton at Goodison, didn't they? And that was for the cup, which where they are in the league, you'd think they try harder. Yeah. In the league than they would in the yeah. cup, but. 
Um, well, I, and, and to be fair, it looks like they're going to go to Wembley, doesn't it, based yeah, yeah. on the semi-final draw as well. And so. I, 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 it was good to see Shana playing again. How old is Shana? Because we seem to have 50, talk, 50, we, we seem to have talked about Shana when he has his, all those fucking stupid haircuts. Talking about when when not. He wants to come back from Germany. On let, 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 lest we forget that during the Hodgson time, we were just we we're talking about Coutinho now. This Brazilian lad is probably the future of the Brazilian national team. And we, but when Hodgson was in charge. We were talking about bringing Shana in because he couldn't get a game at Wigan and we used, he was talking about, you know, we've got to be realistic. And we was talking about bringing Shana in for, for Liverpool. That's where we were. And then we were saying, well, Liverpool didn't give Hodgson time. Yeah, for the fuck, fuck for that. We didn't give Hodgson time. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, but um, he seems to be playing Shana, again. The dream Shana, he scored, didn't he? He was one of the, one of the good saves. And he, and he seems to have calmed his hair down, which is a shame for everybody. I like a player with an unusual hair. Um, <laughs> So, um, so fighting in an unusual fighting an unusual. I don't know about you. I mean, with that beard, you must enjoy uh, a gentleman with, with unusual hair and and a fighting ability on the pitch. Yeah, I've yeah, no problem yeah. With that. I've got. I, I like it. I like. Although to be fair, what's the what's the lad who gave away the stupid penalty at the Spurs game? With the, Ricardo, 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 yeah. What the fucking hell's that square business he's going to go oh, on? I think he looks rather well, cool. Well, really? well, he lets it go though. Now it's the a front, proper, front, I like yeah, it when he lets it go. Yeah, when it's a, a proper, big old proper, proper front, I like. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I like, like an afro. <laughs> I love an afro. And but, I like the player whose surname sounds a little bit like an Italian cheese, and he qualifies on that. Well, that, that, yeah, that's no. good. So, should we move on to the Spurs game? Should yes. we get a Spurs perspective first? Yeah, I mean, I'll shut, shut you up for a long time. Oh, that's no problem. It was fascinating hearing all about Liverpool beating yeah. Wigan and thinking yeah. that that was the second coming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I from a Spurs fan's perspective, I, I enjoyed the game. Um, you know, other from that, and I, and I thought we we handled it well. We had the right approach. Um, we just forgot that old adage about not letting the other team score more goals than you do. Mm. That aside, I thought we actually played it well. A um, few sloppy errors, but we weren't sloppy. You know, it, it was a no, couple, it, you know, we didn't suddenly, it wasn't like sloppy, like Arsenal sloppy, where yeah. the defence looks like they've only been introduced, you know, 10 mm -hmm. minutes before the match. It was just a couple of individual errors which were punished. And that decided the game. That but sounds I mean, like I, us so much. Yeah, you know, it, it, it just awful. happened. I, I, yeah. I don't know what you do about that. It's <clears> like an individual error. Hopefully, the players will learn and not do it again. But I, I thought, you know, we played, we played you well. But you're not a bad team at the moment. If you do make mistakes, you get punished. Suarez was goal. Oh, I thought was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was brilliant. Really neat. I, I must admit that was, that was such a surprise when because he, he, really, he just didn't look like he could score. Yeah. And then we, we, before you even knew he had control of the ball, it's just dinked it in. It was like, the, the back heel from Coutinho. Oh, that was very cool. The back yeah, heel from Coutinho. I had no problems about Enrique, that goal. Enrique's move. But yeah. the, when you look at the fact that it goes from Coutinho to, to Enrique, Enrique to Suarez, back to Enrique, Enrique's in the box, and then he just leaves yeah, he just the, the Spurs, yeah. the Zoo Spurs centre half for dead. It's just. But also, yeah. what, what that, got me tremendous. watching the replay of that on match the day later on was the. Um, was the fact that Enrique, once the situation's got back under control, you get the Coutinho lovely back heel and all that, mm. and then we kind of lose a bit of momentum, and so it goes back to Coutinho. Now, instead of Enrique then going back and getting him in a defensive position, he goes ahead of Coutinho and he gets the ball, yeah. to which that's where, you know... I, 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 I want to... Um, I, do, I do have to admit, though, if we hadn't scored first, regardless of the end results, I do get the feeling if we hadn't scored first... No way, God's You know, match. you know what? I don't think we played very well. No, I agree. I Thank think, you. I think it's, I think for the first time, and, it, I, and I think we did play pretty yeah, yeah, good. I, I think, think, I think it's good. just one of those yeah, things yeah. that happens. Well, I, you know, I, I, I would say, Jeff, to be fair, that for thirty first thirty minutes, oh, Liverpool were the better minutes. side. Yeah, yeah. From thirty minutes till eighty minutes, we had our asses handed to yeah. us to be. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't particularly argue with that, but, but it, this is going to happen <laughs> in games now again, isn't it? And to be honest, I think you're going to hate this. I'd rather lose against you. Than against one of the big clubs. <laughs> Woo! Well, you know that's the, you know <laughs> what you know what that, that's painful, but that's the reality. Yeah. You know, you know it's, it's uh, uh, and it's I think it'll, you know it'll make them all hyper aware for the next game, and they won't be so, you know. And I think, and I think well, you, you know, I don't mistakes. think we played well, and there were big chunks of the game where we forgot 
that we do that passing thing. We yeah. forgot, you know, we well, forgot I'd, that I'd, we I'd, were doing I mean, that. We were hoofing it again. Spurs had, Spurs had great possession of the whole game, didn't they? Yeah, 58%. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But, but we, are, we have been a lot better this season about holding on to the ball and making it hard for the other team. The way you were playing, well, well, I've well, well, never seen this before watching you because it was just funny. See, you don't, you, don't get, you, you don't get used to this at Anfield, you however bad we've been, <clears> is that. Um, how high up the pitch you were, and we couldn't we couldn't get hold of the ball. It was no, like, well that's we that, were that's, in our own that's the point I want to make. In the first thirty minutes, right, Spurs Spurs dropped off, yes, right, and, 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 and pretty much allowed us to win the midfield battle. To be fair to AVB, and it was a um, and I thought Rogers actually of one of the first big management duels he's had, considering they worked together as well. I actually think Brendan came out just slightly on top, even on that front as well. But to be fair to AVB, his, his tactic when they came back out in the second half. Which was just push on Carragher and Agger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Totally. Just yeah. stop the ball being fed out. And Gerard was right back yeah. as well. Yeah. So yeah, we, no we couldn't go forward. And yeah. we were back in the situation of the Dalgleish days of the ball going forward and the ball not sticking. Yeah, yeah we had two forwards and essentially we basically just lost Sturridge because of that. Um, of that um, yeah, well, I thought Sturridge was poor and he obviously yeah. he didn't look anywhere near he fit to meet Sturridge really at all. Yeah, yeah. I think he was there. And Sturridge normally in every other game where he has played and he has been fit has, has allowed that extra space because of his pace. He's pulled their back full back and he probably would have fit full fitness. Probably give them Dawson and, and even um, Vertonghen something to worry about from that point of view, but he didn't. Right? I think one of the reasons Stuart Downing looks so good on the game was because Stuart Downing, because of the situation we were in, we were forced to use Stuart a lot yeah. more because it was our only out ball for, from, thir <laughs> from 30 minutes till 60 minutes till we changed it. Um, that was our only out ball. But we where, couldn't where go forward. It, I mean, that was a big, I mean, big change in his sort of mental attitude, I think, with Downing. It was like, he actually had, as you've said before, you know, as you said, he hasn't had before. He had balls for the first time. He, well, was, I tweeted he was picking it, a ball up and I he was running at, at top. At 10 minutes, 20 seconds, Stuart Downing went in for a two-footed tackle on yeah. some other, probably the first time in his I think, I put it, isn't it what uh, Isn't it bizarre, though, it's taken essentially what is the end of the season now to, uh, you know, that's two seasons he's been at. It's the first time he's really started to sort of believe in himself just a little, goes to a show little you bit. fragile a football is. But, but, still, yeah. but yeah. still not... You know, he's still not picking the ball up and bossing a game. And you think, well... Well, he's never done that in his career, has he? He's been important. Well, no, never, to be fair, never, when, when, he was at, when he was at Middlesbrough, you know... Oh, it, when, when, the, when he on there, Yeah, but, but... And then towards the end of his career at, uh, um, at Villa, he was one of the best. I, I know, I think... There was a, there's that fantastic stuff that somebody... I think he matched the highlights terms, he would be, and that's why he looked, goes look good for England. But there was, he never there was stuff... Um, but I, think it, I think confidence and belief is a huge, yeah. huge... I mean, I'll give I mean, you that. the Tottenham. You know, yeah. you, you're watching players perform significantly differently yeah. at Spurs from how you've seen them perform before. I mean, uh, you know, Bale is the obvious one. He was great last season, but he's just been from another planet Did you see this that? season. But I, you know, that, that's a manager inspiring them. You know, I, I really like, firmly, 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 firmly you have a, you have a rise to him, or you write Riley, 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 Riley. I, I think you know, there's a there's a lot of players there. Doing, I think, almost as good as they can possibly oh, yeah. do, which I think is fantastic, and you have to give credit to the coach for that. I know, I know the game was built as sort of Suarez versus Bale, but actually watching the game and, and, and down his performance aside, I thought Dembele was the best. I player think Dembele. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you take Dembele yeah. out of Tottenham, Tottenham, yeah. I know. Forget Bale for me. Jeez, if you take Dembele out of Tottenham, I don't yeah. think Tottenham are half the team. Yeah. Yeah. He's tough as old boots, and yet he can run with the ball. He can. Yeah, yeah, no, Dembele, no, Dembele, Dembele reminds me of Gerrard and his full pump. I yeah, thought yeah. he was yeah. fantastic. He really, really well. And he was superb on the day. Dembele. Although they got carrying on the Downing, the fact that Downing was squaring up to him after the after the whistle, I think, where's this Downing? I know Leave her. Leave her. Did you see that? Did you see that brilliant thing? I can tell you where that comes from. That comes from you realise you've got acceptance from the cop for the yeah. first time because every time Bale picked the ball up, we were all singing, You're just a shit Stuart yeah, Downing yeah, at him every time we got the ball. Uh, did you see that, <laughs> did you see that um, thing that somebody posted on, on the, um, the Facebook site, which was um, a, an old, um, or maybe, it was, maybe it was on Twitter, uh, it was an old article from one of the papers saying that, uh, you know, a bit of gossip saying that um, Bale was going to be offered to Aston Villa as a make weight to buy um, Stuart Downing. This is like, you know, it's not that long ago, you know. It was you like, gotta remember, Jeff will tell you, Gareth Bale played, what, uh, 15 it, games without getting a no, result? It, it, it was actually regarded as a jinx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, couldn't win, he couldn't win a game he was nah, playing, could nah, he? No, 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 no. He was like an eight stone nah, fullback, wasn't he? No, nah, but then, you know, Harry got him playing to his credit. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, <clears throat> and what's happened this season has clearly been, you know, fairly spectacular. You're actually watching his armoury 
increase in his repertoire almost week upon you know week when upon took, week. When you know, took, when he took the the, the, the stripes off. Um, Gerard, 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 and then Carragher yeah. just, just just tried to ship him out, and it was like you can't ship him yeah. out because obviously that was when we were, that was our big stroke of luck. Yeah. Well, that was well that was the, the cross. Then good old Gilfie mm. did us a favour and clattered yeah. it De- off Johnson. Really, yeah, Devoe Devo was on the penalty spot, going, "Give it me, I'll put it in the net," and he obviously went for goal. Um, yeah. Did you see um, Uncle Fester or uh, old Butch Wilkins? Did you see him? Did you see him? Um, say, he, he was analysing at half time, I think Ace it was, well. and he went. He used the word "fuck," which is brilliant. Uh, he goes, uh, yeah, you know, we, what you've got on Liverpool, we're going to have some sales is, um, you know, where's Bale? Like, you know, the thing is, you've got to look around yourself and you've got to go, well, there he is. You've got to fucking get him nice and early. Jamie, Jamie Redknapp went, <laughs> like that. you can hear Jamie Redknapp go, like, it was beautiful. LB, just digressing I, slightly, LBC did something today, didn't they, where, did the, they? where, where they had the Archbishop of Canterbury on. Right. And the presenter went... And they called him a cunt. He called him Archbishop of a cunt. And then he went, Archbishop of a cunt, Canterbury. <laughs> wow, <laughs> brilliant. I'll post the link. Oh, I'd love to see that. Got a little soundbite on it. It was um, beautiful. The, the other thing Sorry. I want to say was that you, uh, the, uh, obviously um, Brad Jones was shitting himself the whole game. Mm. Uh, all, uh, and our defence, w- again, was all over the place. I think, uh, you know, what stage does he forgive Skirtle? You know, no, I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got to... Re- I've, there's a, I've been doing a, a, a bit of legwork on this as well. The reason Carragher's playing is right. the, the, the so-called fallout between Skirtle yeah. and uh, Rogers doesn't come back to money. It doesn't come back to performance. It comes back to what we said about six weeks ago. It right. comes back to the, the, the we don't have a vocal back four. Without right. Pepe playing, right. we don't have a vocal back four. Jamie Carragher was brought back into the side because we've got nobody with any defensive now. We Daniel that, Agger's a, a footballing centre half. He's a good defender. He's a great defender in my opinion, but he's not an out and out stopper, right? And uh, I watched that game obviously first hand. And the one thing, I was terrified when Kara started because the rumours were he was going to bring Skirtle back when Skirtle was on the bench, right? And I, again, was terrified the same way I was at Arsenal when, when Kara played there. But apart from one roasting from Bale, mm. um, yeah, we were, we were undressed as a back four from two set pieces, but from two non-free kicks, and my only criticism, and it's the same criticism everybody has of Suarez as well, I, I don't like Mr. Bale's antics. It was two non-free kicks that led to the goals. The wandering, we were terrible not picking him back up when he came back on the pitch from his injury when Stephen Gerrard won an header against him, uh, and that allowed him to put the cross in for the first. Right, well, let's let's goal. talk about that because because Jeff's here. I mean, you must think he's the great thing to life. But and I, you know, I think lots of people are giving him loads of loads of shit. But I think he's a, just a brilliant player. I think he's a really good player. I mean, essentially, in his armoury, his no, big number one thing is that he's shit off a shovel. He's the quickest player in the league at the moment. Well, mm. I think that's what. Well, that's what but, it was. But, but, but he really, yeah, yeah, no, you know, it's like this. It's also know. like this. Now, isn't you know, he's, he's, he's like but, he's strong. You know, suddenly like but, he takes you know Ronaldo free kicks. Um, suddenly he can use his right foot yeah. quite handily as well. Yeah. It's, like, it's actually been really fantastic. But then, watching but then, him but then suddenly it's like he's got a right to be on the pitch, and if anybody tackles him or, or gets a bit rough with him, he goes down like a fucking. And I don't he's think. Are you, in that you know, you know. I, I'm not talking about the diving. I'm not talking about the diving. I, I'm, ju- I'm talking about if someone's a bit rough with him, he's like. Oh, he has to be. Lucas did that. Didn't he? Lucas had all of his shoulder, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he went down all these FAs. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, oh, and then the Carragher went up for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gerard went up with that header, and it was a perfectly. There was nothing wrong with that challenge at all. He goes down like he's been shot, and then there's Comes all. Off. Uh, and, and he goes well. off, and you think, "Well, fuck him! Come on, that's ridiculous." But you know, and I think there unit. is. Gareth Bale but, yeah, is a unit but there is as there well. is a thing about the modern player, about the top players, is that, is that actually because of the way referees work and because the media works and all that, is that is that actually if you if you if you're that way inclined, then people think you've got a right to be able to play your football and you not you shouldn't get tackled, you shouldn't get clattered in your subject. Jeff, what do you think? I, I don't know. I think a lot's happened to him in a very short space of yeah. time and you know, he's not a career diver. No, yet. I don't think he is. A couple of things yeah. have happened and you kind of think to yourself, I'll oh, come and get out, man, you know. Um let's wait and see. You know, I d I don't think we're talking <coughs> about you know, I don't think sec- he's, a- he's not it's not the second coming of Klinsman. It's not no. that I don't think he's a know, very good diver, that's what it is. I think no, he's, he's he's a bit more more subtle about the way he's doing it that's that's essentially what it's like it's like Suarez Suarez is you know, a terrible diver I was going to say but you know in, in all honesty part of the modern game is you see players dive every single match yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. you uh-huh. see it all you, yeah. it's just it's sad but you just need to see, I would, I would you do, need to do it cleverly we, we have we have a, a slight bitterness because the press don't seem to I mean what Gareth's what five bookings this season for simulation 
four or five. Yeah, I mean, the clatching, we had one of the week before at least. The, 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 clatch, the clatching of the face is just. I, I, I don't get me wrong. I do think he's a fantastic talent. I don't think he's anywhere near the the, the, the top three or four players. But in the world. you've got to admit, when so he the clutches English a pro- face, he clutches well. He does. <laughs> you know, he's, yeah. he's a dynamic he's, clutcher. He's, he yeah. does it with style. He's well practiced. Yeah, he's no, he's, he's, he's like, you know. But, but the British press are so keen to to latch onto a Welshman. It's the Andy Murray syndrome all over again. That he gets a free he's pass. Ah, uh, no, no, no. He does the same thing. I would, I would the bloke the has been the best we've seen of British football for years, and he's been a tremendously exciting player. That's yeah. why yeah, yeah. he's been cut a little bit of slack, and that's not exactly so terrible, is it? Let's be honest. You know, we'd all, you'd all be very happy to have him in the England team if he was English. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah absolutely. He's, he's cut a little bit of slack, you know. But I would say yeah. though that the the, um, the who should be player of the season. Um, BBC character assassination of Suarez without mentioning any any of the misdemeanors of of Bale in the uh, same game was unbelievable. Yeah, I agree. And, but I think and, um, and five live way did well, as well. What's Just, what's interesting about that whole play of the season thing is that what it, what Suarez what are they? Can't deal with well, it. I don't I don't think they probably can. But but it's also but that's to do with the. You know the whole culture of football about being, you know, the the moral arbiters of the world. Well, the right? writers won't won't vote for him, but no. this is the pl- whether the players would vote because the players are going to choose between. Mm-hmm. I mean, RVP seemingly got the players. Off the boil, the so players Bale vote. Versus Suarez, the isn't the it? players' vote is based from February onwards, so Bale stands a really good chance of winning it. Yeah, I don't think anyone touches Bale for this issue. I think you know, Suarez beats him. Nah. Beats him nah. hands down. Don't I think. I think. Suarez no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about how good. So I'm talking about yeah. who's going to win. No. I think Bale wins. Yeah. Bale wins. Full stop for a million. But, but I think, but I think that's you know that's to do that's to, to do with the you know the terrible PR that Suarez has got, really terrible PR, and it is to do with the fact that he's foreign as well, and you know it's to do with it's to do with all that and everybody wanting to have a British player win it. Yeah. And it, it yeah, is, all, that's all, the reality. All valid. You know, okay, the other, well, while we're on that subject, I mean, because I'm, I'm well, we're on the subject of Spurs, because that's sort of, you've led it almost into what we were going to, wanted to talk about next, which was um, I. One of the reasons we, we've got Jeff here is I actually believe that Tottenham have taken Liverpool's place at the top table yeah. of football for, for the current current moment. You've got to realise that Manchester City strong arm their way in there amongst Chelsea and things. But I would say that I'm hoping you're going to end up, which will probably suit you a lot better. You'd rather take Arsenal's place at the top table, I should imagine. Really, I but think we, I think we probably have taken Arsenal's place. This, uh, you, t- you started this off season, by taking it. This now season, you've taken Arsenal's last place. this season. You know, I mean, uh, I'm not going to get too bullish. You know, um, I think, you know, we're definite for te- top four. I think uh, Arsenal will fall outside. Um, what happens next year depends on what happens in the close season. Hopefully we'll hang on to Mr. Bell. And well, you've got a good American backer behind Daniel. Yeah, but, we need, is yeah, a but, line, you know? but it's, it's, a, it's a very big, you know, it's a really big thing. If we're going to hang on to Bell, the club has to kind of really take some punts to move forward. I mm. mean, you've got that... That once in a lifetime opportunity to really sort of build a team around. Right. Do you think Modric is almost like the best advert for him not going? I think it's, I think it's a pretty good advert. You know, He's talking about going to United. I, I, I think he's a different. Yeah. He's yeah. a very different player from. <laughs> Modric as well. He's a different character. You oh know, yeah, no, but the fact he went away, didn't he, and then yeah. became a nobody. He's like he, he's begging yeah. to be in the team. Yeah. Whereas I'm, obviously Bale is setting the world on fire. But I think certainly for next season, I think Bale is capable. I think it can be done. Yeah. If Lee, if yeah, we we got to get Champions League. We've got to give, give him a decent pay rise. But I think also, you know, uh, Mr. Levy's got to step up to the plate and bring in a couple of other really class acts. So well, that's AVB. Is Jack and yeah. AVB's got somebody? Because most well, of the buys well, were like Levy before AVB arrived, weren't they? Well, you know, we've just got to hope that there's, you know, we need a top-notch striker, you know, someone else clever on the ball. Um, you, you know, the two guys that we had, really, that were perhaps closest to Bell's level, we sold at the end of last season, yeah. mm. you know. Um, but we, we need, you know, some more class acts. You know, Having one season where a guy occasionally looks like a one-man team is acceptable, but Bell's not going to want to do that again, and why should he? Well, why it, should he? It's funny, funny you say that we were talking about um, how you've taken our place. Because, you know, it, what, uh, what they look like to me is a bit like Liverpool when Gerrard was, yeah, our, own, was our only player. Mm-hmm. And then when Gerrard got um, Torres, then... We looked as though we were a team that we we could compete for the league. So that's yeah. why you need to need a Torres. Yeah, and that's I what agree. Need, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think we're a little better than that. I think you know mm-hmm. players as you highlight before, like Dembele, like yeah, you know they're good. Like they're they're, they're, yeah. they're a class act, but a couple of you know a really 
top striker. To be striker. fair, that was Loris's first ricket. I mean, I know the back pass from Walker was No, the fantastic. back pass was abismal. Yeah, but to be really. I mean, it was the first, uh, and it was a poor, yeah. it was the second decision. It, well, I mean, Downing, Downing made the most of two quite poor decisions. Loris didn't have much choice. It was shit or bust, yeah. basically. Yeah. But it was still quite, a, 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 I mean, the back pass was abysmal, but we've seen enough of those from Skirtle. Yeah. But season. we, also, we well. also know this time 12 months ago, under Dowd Leash, he'd have hit the defender on the line yeah, and gone yeah. over the bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't have gone yeah, between yeah, his legs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he would have probably been not been in a position, to be honest with yeah, you. Um, Loris is all right. Well, I have no, no problem Loris, with him. Loris, I think Loris has been an excellent buy. He, he's, he's fine. He's what, um, yeah, how many goalkeepers you got now? Like but 100. We've we got a few. Um, uh, what was into well interesting last year about is because at the start of the season you predicted um, Spurs would implode because you didn't rate at AVB. What's he done differently that you didn't expect? Him I would to do? say, to be fair, I'll, 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 I think the guy seems to have learnt his lessons, but yeah. I also think that he's gone into a dressing room lacking as many egos as the Chelsea dressing room, right. um, and also he had the Chelsea had the, the back history of being the guy that, that, that put the you know the opposition's DVDs under the doors of some of those players on a yeah. Friday night for them to watch. Um, he does seem to have curbed his excesses considerably. He does seem to be listening to people around him. Perhaps he's got more of a board that'll indulge him. I I still think he, you're either in AVB's club or you're not. But this but time bought, he seems to have got more people I, I think, you in know, his club. The, ch the Chelsea thing. I mean, on paper he looked like a good fit to that, but actually it couldn't have been worse. No, and I, I think no. you know the Chelsea job is a poison chalice at the best of times. Cool. Look at Rafa for and, example. Yeah, well it, it it you know it works out bad for how everybody. Many, how many million is he going to come up at the end of the season? He's eighteen point five million for a six months work. That's what he'll. That's what he'll. Two hundred and forty-eight. And everybody goes. And everybody goes. And everybody goes. You want for that, wouldn't you? And everybody goes. Why is he taking the job? It's his own stupid. It's his own. It's his own contract. Six months. It's his own stupid fault for taking it. Why did he take that job? Why did he take that job? And the six months out is in his half of the contract, not theirs. Wow. So that's why. That's Jeff. That's why. Chelsea fans will only shout at Rafa, not at Roman. You know, it's like where's the stupidity isn't with Rafa. I'd yeah. take any shit for that. Yeah, I'd, say, yeah. I'd turn up in a red suit and say, shout at me all you want, basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 Although, again, um, you know, I, mean, just, I don't want to take away from the Spurs thing, but it's really nice to see that that moral arbiter of the game that everybody refers to, who castigated Mr Suarez for not shaking Everett's hand, yeah. that he was abysmal, a shocking yeah. human yeah. being yeah. that should be banned from playing for Liverpool yeah. Football Club, flatly refused to shake Rafa Benitez's hand at the way. Hold on a minute, there's a new trend happening at the moment. If, if we don't win, then at United, you don't have to do post-match conferences anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. It's phenomenal, it really yeah, is. But you know, he really essentially doing. runs football in this country, so there's no, there's no Manchester United have run this country. But, you know, they run the FA, they run the Premier League. Leo Ferdinand, on the telly, puts his, heel, puts his boots down the back of Torres, FA's doing nothing. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Applauds, he's get, he's, he's getting England to his cap. face. He's going back into Doesn't the league. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's back in England. I would, I would like to actually pay credit to Tottenham because I think they've been exceptionally good to watch. I said before that the best team I've seen us play at Anfield all season was uh, Arsenal. Hmm. Up until the weekend, because our full hmm. Spurs were superb yeah, on the yeah. weekend. Um, again, the he's only been so magnanimous because you came out winning. We do no, know no, that. I, don't I, you? I, you know, I, th <laughs> I think we should have beat you at your place. To be honest, yeah. I think you, you, I think we gave you the game at your place. I think the introduction of Joe Allen, Brendan, I mean, as much as I played credit oh, to him, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, you did really yeah, well. Allen, when he brought Joe Allen on, and um, we we basically gained control and we started playing and pushed passing, Spurs yeah. backwards. Yeah, yeah. By adding extra man in midfield, I thought AVB didn't react anywhere near in time to that and. Well, the penalty was a penalty by Miles, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Well, Coutinho should have had a penalty as well. well Johnson I mean, should have had a penalty yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's funny with penalties, though, isn't it? Because, I mean, you actually look at that challenge. I mean, and you know it's going to be a penalty. But actually, in reality, it was completely innocuous. It yeah, really was. But that, that's, but the mod that's modern That's football, the modern it? game. It's yeah, like, you know, virtually any <laughs> contact... Yeah. With an attacker, unless you get, unless you hit the ball first, that's you know, it. It, you'll give away a penalty. Except, well, except for dead ball situations yeah. where you can put your arms around a bloke's waist, yeah, yeah. wrestle yeah. him to the ground, and rip his rip his fingernails out. Yeah. So that's legal. That's fine. Yeah. It's that's very fine. odd, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's, and it, do you know what, what makes me laugh is they'd stop that by issuing three penalties in the first half of a yeah. game, or send someone off for doing it. And yeah. it would stop it instantly, but no one seems to. It, 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 what, what, what does remind you that the game itself, though, overall, um, Oliver wasn't it, the referee. Um, yeah. He he refed it like like as if it was fifteen years ago. He he was going to players, look, you know, look, it's early on, lads. Just 
put a little, he didn't book anybody, did he? First half, I don't think he booked anybody. He's a young he guy as well. It's actually nice to see, though. Really. I don't, yeah. you know, so let's, I don't, let's, let's I don't mind. No, I, like, I, like, I, like, I used to like it when you used to kick each other. <laughs> and that's, what, <laughs> that's what football was about for me. Was, you know, you know, yeah, I, I, but soon as tackling somebody about the neck. I can tell and, you. And, I, and, I then, think was, and then they go, oh, come on, get up, get on with it. I Parker, like that. Parker and Suarez, which started off the whole yeah, pinching yeah. scenario yeah, and everything. Yeah. Parker and Suarez was a tasty, <clears> tasty tackle. Yeah. Right? It was a very tasty tackle. Suarez screamed. It was a it was a tasty tackle. Did he scream like a bitch? He screamed like a bitch, yeah. It was a tasty tackle, but the best bit was because we had the referee yeah. running past, and this, this was really encouraging because the referee's running past him. Went, Scott, I fucking saw that. And that <laughs> <laughs> really? And that's really how he refereed the game. The same as um, um, when when Gerard, was, when Gerard was standing there saying, when obviously there was the head out that yeah, wasn't yeah. a free kick, and so so. And Gerard's standing there saying, he's going, Steve, it was a bit too much. Steve, it was a bit too much. And Stephen's making his case, yeah. and he went, just shut the fuck up. Oh, wow. uh, and you're thinking to yourself, no, you could tell but that's how they like to be spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, it was working. Yeah. 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 So, can we. <clears throat> Sorry, go on. I'm just saying, you could tell from, from watching from the TV, you could tell it was working because no situation really boiled over at all. He listened to both of his assistants as well. You could see most of on the penalty decision, although he was clearly going to give it, he did have a look and take, take, take reference as well. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I, I thought he was a bit fussy, but. Now you say that, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, can we talk about the next game? Can yeah, we talk well, about we should, Southampton? Well, I mean, well, I'm, I'm going to say, well, obviously, Jeff, you've said you're going to... Where do you think you're going to finish, Tottenham? Uh, third. 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 Come on, you've got to do it again. Third, man, third. third. You yeah. want Chelsea falling out of it. Yeah, well. think, do yeah. you think that's yeah. going to lose Wenger his job? Yeah. All right, no, I, well, Wenger makes an awful lot of money. I mean, we, apart from Rafa, Wenger's the best paid uh, manager in, in world football. Right. So he can afford, and he makes so much money for Arsenal Football Club. But let's just say, I don't think the bank statement will be doing its lap of honour around North London this year, do you? I don't think there'll be an open top parade for the bank statement this time round. I'm not sure. I, I think he's, you know, being blamed for a bit too much, really. He takes it, I he carries, mean, he carries the can for the you, you know, I, I was going to say, you know, you don't suddenly have a policy where you sell all your best players to your rivals and buy cut price because. Of one bloke, you know. That's a, that's. But a, why doesn't he say something then? Because yeah, he's well, because he's because well, he's, he's paid well. very well. You know, I mean, all the you know, this is all you know. It's all basically happened since the Emirates, isn't it? Yeah. Really, yeah. you know, and they're mm. paying for that, and they keep telling you they got money to spend, but simultaneously they're selling off, you know, the uh, family silver. Mm. Not just selling it, but actually, you know, as soon as you're selling your players to like, you know, the, you know, to Man City, it's a bit Man like City, City it's a United, it's really I mean, like, you know, that's the point. I mean, Arsenal, you know, all the gooners are going mental about what's going. That's the point, you know. I mean, that your mission statement is writ large at that point. Yeah, yeah. You are no longer, you know, at the top table. Yeah. You know, you're, you're a selling, selling you're a selling club now. You know, either shut up and get on with it, or come come over Tottenham and support us. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah, you're loving this. There'll be a lot. There'll be a lot of that going on. Yeah. Oh, you've waited a fucking long time. Oh, you, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you, I was on the shelf with my dad. I had my yeah. navy blue school yeah. mat on. You know, yeah. it's, it's been a while, yeah, man. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, <laughs> but we we are, you know, and, and this sounds bizarre to celebrate it. We're sixth in the table. It's the highest we've been all season, I think, isn't it? And oh. uh, we're three th- three on the on the bat. You know. I would say that I've looked at the rankings. Above Everton for the first time. Tottenham, Tottenham and Liverpool of all of the top six clubs. Not that yeah. we're going to get anywhere near the top two, but of yeah. Tottenham and Liverpool of all of the top six clubs have got the easiest run-ins of everybody on you, paper. The thing is, you're, you're so fucking sad that you think we're going to get fourth and we ain't going to get we'll fourth. Get fifth. Well, fifth, fifth means we're going to go above Arsenal or Chelsea, doesn't it? That's what fifth that or sixth, That's mate, fifth doesn't means. really matter, does it? Obviously, Tottenham aren't going to fall out of it. No, Tottenham will finish Anyway, third. we got we got um, Southampton away, which is... You know, looks to me like that's a home win. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, three on the bounce. Rango, we ain't, we ain't, <laughs> we ain't going to get four on a bounce. That's not going to happen. Uh, you know, they're a wounded animal, Southampton. I can see us getting turned over there. Well, they beat, they beat City, Man City, mm. didn't they? Recently? Mm. I think I we'll win two 0 I think if we got it. I mean, the thing that we've, we seem to have got right is we can go to teams that were meant <laughs> to beat, be on the front foot. And tear them apart. We're not. Mm. We're not trying to pry them apart as if we're playing Juventus away. Mm. We actually go. Rogers' his teams goes right. Let's fucking have them. Well, that's mm. the let's one, not stop that, until the, the death. one thing he's finally got into it is the Swansea mentality. And the other thing that he, um, one thing, sorry, just I know um, on that subject, 
I watched the um, uh, the documentary on Mourinho at long last during the weekend, and one of the things that everybody said is um, when Mourinho was there and he had Brendan and AVB obviously in his lower level coaching staff, it's one of the things that they all loved about Mourinho's philosophy. They didn't like all of it, but one of the things they all loved was that Mourinho's teams from the whistle go for the throat. Mm. And I think if you look at Spurs and Liverpool, they're two of the teams in the league, like Swansea, that from the moment the whistle yeah. goes, you are put on the back foot. And that's why it was such an interesting game, because we actually managed to put Spurs on the back foot for 30 but minutes. I mean, which doesn't happen, Jeff. In your no, 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 right. no, no, no. <clears throat> the, sh- the, sh- the, sh- the only shine to take off the game for us, I think, is that for as good as Spurs plays off the park in large chunks, the two goals they scored were all shite. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 That's a good we thing. A, we need a six foot three defender. That's what it looks yeah, like. We, we, need, we, we do need, we we need someone. We don't need anybody else. No, we need, we we need, need a proper defender. It's not finesse, is it? We, no, defender. we just need. We need someone. We need Jeez. Jamie Carragher, twenty yeah, yeah. years younger. Yeah, basically. but, but, but yeah. it was all. You know, the two goals. I mean, they were, they were like. But, but from, yeah, but from our perspective, it's greater. While everyone's got their eyes on Bale, worried yeah. about that, yeah. we've got this other beast who comes forward and just. You know. <laughs> he was no, he's, 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 I'll tell you, man. His finish was great. He, right, come on, ve- I think he's a very <laughs> handy player. I'm very pleased to have what him. What's it about Belgian footballers at the moment mm. as yeah. well? Yeah. Well, let's stop the paedophilia now, so they've got to move on to that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, it's been a joy, and we'll be moving on to part two. Um, is, were you allowed to say soon or is it tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, <laughs> talk about the future, talk about foot, uh, um, money accounts. and talking about um, accounts and gossip and all that stuff. Jeff, lovely to meet you again. And you, pleasure, uh, man. Last, pleasure, last time you. I met pleasure. Jeff, was I carried him into a taxi. He was so drunk he couldn't walk. And that's, what, 20 years ago, probably, something like that? Yeah. Oh. yeah um, uh, things haven't changed. Fingers, fingers yeah. crossed we can do that tonight. All right, cheers. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>